Welcome to QRS tutorial using our Android mobile app, QRS Reporting. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to install the QRS Reporting app on your Android device and complete a report and check your assignments all from the mobile app. You simply uh, open your mobile device, uh, either an Android phone or a tablet, and you choose your Play Store. And then you do a search for QRS Reporting. That's the name of our app. And it's free. You'll notice that it's free. Um, you choose the app. Hit on Install. Uh, it'll And remember, you have to have location services turned on and uh, so that it knows where you are. And click on it and we'll install the app. Once the app is installed, we click the open button. It'll bring you to the login screen. Now remember, your subdomain is only the letters that you put in for your business. For example, ours is quick, Q-U-I-C-K, dot credit, homewatch.com. That's your unique uh, subdomain for your business. So all you need to do is enter that uh, into your device. And then the email that you were given uh, at the time of sign up. So in our case, it's quick re info at quickreportsystems.com. And we simply log in. It's Remember that what this is showing you, shake to send feedback, this is a, uh, what we call Instabug. It's an add-on for the system. And what it does is if you shake the phone, if you have a bug report to report or an issue, you shake the phone and that will um, uh, allow you to send in a bug report with screenshots. So here is uh, enter in a new passcode. So this is your security code. And... We're going to just enter in a four-digit PIN, say OK. And now we've logged in successfully. Now we have to go to our settings. Um, and here, up at the very top, you'll see Refresh Checklist. You must do that uh, anytime you make a change in your system, either a site uh, a new CRID or modifying a CRID, you have to manually uh, hit the refresh checklist. Uh, unfortunately, it can't do it automatically. We're only allowed 30 seconds. So once you've uh, refreshed your checklist, the next thing you can look at is uh, this is where you can log out. Um, what you have is the option for reports, uh, mobile data usage. So for example, if you only want to use Wi-Fi and not use your data plan, you simply come here and turn off uh, the reports button. And this will allow you to go to somebody's site if they have Wi-Fi, or you can complete the report. And then when you get back to your office or to somewhere where they have uh, free Wi-Fi, you can then upload the reports and you don't have to use your uh, um, data on your phone. Uh, next is assignments. Um, this is an auto uh, update for assignments. More than uh, okay to use this. Uh, you don't necessarily have to turn that off. You can turn it off uh, by simply hitting the button. And the reason for that is uh, you have uh, 30 seconds is more than enough to update your assignments. And they will auto update, but it's good. I'll show you how to do that next. Uh, in here, if you forgot your passcode, um, remember you have a sign in with your email and your password that's the sign up for the app and then you set a passcode uh, if you forgot your passcode all you have to do is click on the button add your email address uh, say ok it'll then prompt you to put in your new passcode so we'll put in a passcode say ok and now your passcode is reset so that's if you're already logged in uh, into the system and you forgot your passcode. So next is, um, here's the account log, uh, which the person that signed in, um, you can log out here. This tells you the version. 
of, of what you're using. Always check to make sure you are, if you're not on auto update, uh, you should be checking. Uh, we always announce uh, the, the latest updates uh, in a newsletter. Uh, our weekly newsletter, if it if it's uh, in a, in a particular time, that we'll announce it, and so that's why it's important to follow our newsletters. Um, the next thing is to uh, go to QRS Help. For example, if you're having a trouble on a site and you're not getting located, uh, what we recommend is you check your location with an external service. Uh, click on the QRS uh, uh, link open in Play Store and I've already got it installed so you can install this and it's just a GPS test and if you click open and what it'll do is it will start bringing up the information here to um, get a fix on your location. Once it's got a fix on your location it'll start telling you in details you know right now I'm, I'm in a closed room so it's not getting a very ac accurate reading I'm not on data I'm on Wi-Fi but you'll see that the signals come up. Uh, so that's just a backup for you to just double check to make sure your device is getting located if you are having issues. Uh, next is the change log down at the bottom here and if you click on change log what it does is it tells you uh, the latest versions and what we've done to uh, modify or make the app better it just keeps you up to date on all the latest releases and uh, information about the app so it's a good place to come and check uh, easily to see if you have the latest version and you just compare the latest version to what's installed on your phone okay so now that we have the settings uh, reviewed the uh, next part is to go in and uh, let's do our assignments. So it's going to ask you for your passcode. Um, this information is confidential. So we enter our passcode, hit OK, and you'll notice that there's three assignments in here. If we click on an assignment, it's going to give you the site name, the client name, the CRID name. It starts at this date. And uh, you'll notice that this is an older one. Uh, it was estimated time one hour. The status is done on, uh, on this one. And uh, this is an older uh, assignment. And you'll notice the notes here. Site instructions, you know, park on the left side of the house. You can view this on the map. So you can get directions uh, very easily from where you are to that location. Um, and all you'd have to do is just get, get GPS directions now. For me, I'm already right at this site, so it's not going to show much of a distance, but uh, it will it will give you directions. So if you've got somebody working with you that's not sure on how to get to a site, it'll take their current location and then give them directions to the site. What we're going to do is go back to assignments. Um, we can refresh the assignments at any time manually, but it will auto up uh, auto update. Uh, if we go to an assignment, um, you'll notice that uh, this one here was due on the 28th, and uh, it's estimated 30 minutes. It says here, please check the gate is closed when you arrive. Park on the left side, and uh, the CRID instructions are checked to make sure the sprinklers are turned on. So these are quick notes and instructions you can give to the person, which we call the reporter, going to the site. Um, prior to them opening up the information about the alarm code and everything else uh, that's uh, confidential. So now that we've done that, uh, the next step is we're going to scan a CRID and I'll get that set up and then we'll show you how to do a report. So uh, now we pull up a QR code. You can scan them off your computer. Um, remember on the CRID card, which is, uh, remember, CRID stands for QR code ID. Um, you have the card that you can, you have choices, but to laminate them, you can keep them in a book or you can have them at the site. Uh, one thing I want to mention is if the QR code gets corrupted, there's a number right here of this CRID. If you go to your settings, there is a place to enter the CRID manually. You just enter the number here that corresponds to that CRID, enter it in there, and that will um, allow you to enter it manually. But for this uh, purpose, we're going to scan the CRID. So you scan it. Uh, you simply just pull it up. 
put the QR code into the screen and it'll scan. And now it's going to give you an option to choose uh, one of these. First is your assigned, um, which is your primary checklist. And down below you have a choice of your uh, perma tasks. For this purpose, we're going to choose um, Unit 1, which is our uh, primary checklist for a home watch. So you can put your finger on Unit 1, you pull it up, and you'll notice that the elapsed time has started, so now it's recording your time on site. Uh, here's your notes, you know, your site instructions, your crit instructions uh, are all there. Um, so next thing is we want to look at the report info. Um, there it is. So now you have your alarm code, your alarm safe word, you know, the alarm company, if there was a key box code. And again, you'll see your instructions for the site and the CRID. So um, that's where you, after you log in, that's what happens. Uh, so next is you go back to report and we'll start doing the, the uh, checklist. So check for any signs of vandalism, break and enter and all okay. We're going to say yes. Uh, exterior doors, windows checked and all okay. We're going to say no. Um, we're going to say we found uh, broken window. Okay, so after we say we found a broken window, we want to add a photo so we can add an image. So it's going to give us a choice. Take a photo from camera or choose from gallery. We're going to take a photo. So now that we've taken a photo, we simply click save if we like it. Uh, and now the image is added to our, our report. Now, uh, after we've done that, we can view photos. So there's our photo. If we click on it, we can uh, view the image. And we can go back to our report. You can take as many photos as you want. Uh, if you want to take a video, it's recommended that you keep short videos, otherwise your report gets really big, And um, but you can take videos. So the next thing we're going to do is go down and answer a question. Lawn, trees, and shrubs, gardens checked and all okay. Yep. Uh, here, patio furniture checked and all okay. You know, I'm going to say no. Um, found a broken chair. And next thing is an instruction. Uh, we give you the choice to have questions and instructions. So here you're telling the person, check and collect mail, remove solicitations and newspapers. Um, all you have to do is check it and acknowledge that you've done it. The next thing to do is uh, go down to the next question. You know, did you run the dishwasher? Yes, we did. And uh, if you say no, uh, it's going to ask why not. Um, it depends on how you set up your questions. So there's a new question here. Are there any leaks? Um, I'm going to um, leave that one on purpose. And there's always at every report, there's always a general comments here. And these are optional. But if there's something that doesn't pertain to one of your questions, you can add it here. And you can also add additional images. Uh, I'm going to scroll down, hit I'm done. And it's telling me that not all fields have been answered. Uh, please go back and if I go back you'll notice that it's highlighted in red and it's telling me I missed it by mistake. So uh, are there any leaks? I'm just going to say no. We come down and say I'm done and now the report is being submitted. If we go to unsubmitted reports you'll see that one is unit one is submitting. Uh, I can open it up and have a look at it while it's submitting and uh, you just simply hang tough until it's uh, done. Once it's, once it's done uh, submitting, it'll transfer over to submitted reports. Uh, now that the report is submitted, you can actually go in and look at it. And uh, you can open the report. You can't edit it or do anything with it after this, but you can see that it took 2 minutes and 55 seconds to do the report and you can scroll through it and uh, see all your answers and what you uh, put in that report for future reference. Now, if you want to 
um, after you've submitted this report, it's gone to the system. It's okay to delete. You just hit the delete button, and it'll say, are you sure you want to delete this report? You can say yes, and that clears it from your phone. We hope this tutorial has been helpful for you on how to use our QRS reporting app. Um, if you would like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Quick Report Systems, so that you can stay up to date on uh, all the tutorial videos. And um, also, don't forget to give us some feedback on feature requests in the future that you'd like to see. Also, um, please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We'd sure appreciate that. And uh, uh, thank you for choosing uh, Credit Home Watch Edition from QRS. Thank you.